with you. Uh, Maria, thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations on a second week of Promised Land. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's such a great show. Uh, I, besides the fact that I'm, I'm very excited about the immigrant story and, and that experience, but also there's, there's a next generation of family members that, that usually come from that. And that's, that's uh, both of yours as characters. Um, t- tell me a little bit about what can we expect? What are some of the differences we can expect from the, the generation gap that from your dad, your mom, and, and now what we're going to see going ahead? Because you are both very ambitious and I love it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think one of the obvious ones is uh, the immigrant storyline didn't come from money and we come from massive amounts of wealth and privilege. Mm-hmm. Um, and so to see the differences um, of the same culture, right? We're all Latin people, but to see the differences is how, how we view money, how we approach our lives uh, based off of where we came from and what, where we started from speaks volumes as to um, the cultural differences that we have. I think it also speaks about identity too, you know? the way that we think about our own identity culturally and the way that um, our parents do, you know? And I think that speaks to our own experience as well. Um, I I think it speaks for me, like I see myself very like Mexican American and sometimes I wish I was just one thing or just the other, you know? Or one, of, one of the most interesting aspects is the, the fact that your mom and dad are really gonna be going at it and and trying trying to you know take control of of of, of the empire that that they've built and uh, i i wonder where do your loyalties lie and is it and is it more of a what's going to benefit me a little bit more or do you have a preference <laughs> because like i said i i know that you guys have a lot of ideas and it's been it's been showcased in in, in the show but how are you guys going to navigate through that i cannot wait to see it how dare you think that my loyalties will ever shift, sir? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think the show, we're in a, in a fun drama. And so I think just like in Game of Thrones or any or Succession, listen, may the best offer win. This isn't personal. This is business. Uh, d- tell me a little bit about your guys' uh, relationship with the rest of the cast. I, I, had, a ch- I had a chance to uh, talk to Christina um, last week and she says that putting you guys all in a room at the same time was a big mistake oh i hate them i hate them them the worst (laughs) i'm actually being paid right now to be here with her (laughs) it's it's really it's so funny because i was sitting in the trailer yesterday the makeup trailer and the makeup ladies were like you guys are so lucky you have no idea and i was like who (laughs) (laughs) you know no it's just like it's so fun to get to do the thing that you love with the people that you love I think obviously a lot has to do that where that it is a predominantly Latina cast and we're all kind of rooted in a lot of the same experiences but we just get along man like I love these guys I love going to get to work with them and <clears throat> and I think that you'll be able to see that on screen for yeah. sure. I mean, from day one, though, from day one, when we met at the hotel in lobby, Hotland, Atlanta, Georgia, just, we're inseparable. When you, when you guys uh, learned about your character and, and, and really got to look at the, at the script, <laughs> what, what was it something that you felt that you needed to really work on, really need to focus on to, to really um, showcase them? Oh. Um, well, for me, I we are experiencing a lot of um, more inclusivity in storytelling with like non-binary folk, LGBT stories, etc. And so what I really wanted to focus on was dissecting what could we explore specifically about the Latine queer intersection, right? Um, and what haven't we seen on television just yet? And I think that in the next couple of episodes, um, we'll be making some history. Yeah, I think for me, a lot of this was trying to make sure that I wasn't going to give audiences just another spoiled rich girl, you know, I really wanted to try and set Carmen apart in a lot of ways. Um, And hopefully, that's what we'll see. (laughs) You give us a little bit more of what we can expect between your relationship with uh, Veronica, because you you helped her out quite a bit. (laughs) 
And uh, I, mean, I want to know if that's going to come back. Me. <laughs> I swear, like, I'm over here like, Carmen's the most loyal of everybody. But no, I think you'll be very surprised um, with some of the things that happened around episode six. And you might think differently of Carmen. Um, but I can say that she's definitely underestimated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think that a lot of, of the Latinx youth sometimes are underestimated because of the yeah. fact that, you know, like, like Joe would, you know, and, and Letty, they're, they're all in, yeah. their, in their older ways. And they like, now you don't, you don't know better, but like your idea, for example, in the show as Carmen. Yeah. Um, I think it's also just like, you just hit the nail on the head. It's like, even my parents, you know, it's the thing of like, you know, you have to work hard. You have to climb up the ladder. You have to put in all the work. And it's like, Carmen's like, no, 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 no. Let's work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Absolutely. So. I, I agree. I, I've got to let you guys go soon, but tell me, what is your favorite wine? I, I got to know. Oh, that's easy. Tequila. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Free wine. Free. Yeah. Free wine is the best wine. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you both for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I am enjoying the show so far and I look forward to enjoying it as it is released on ABC. Hell yeah. Uh, Keep tell your friends, tell your tias, tell your tios, tell everybody, okay? Absolutely. Yeah, and watch out for episode six, y'all. Y'all heard it here first. <gasps> Something's gonna happen. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. <laughs> Take care. It was nice to virtually meet both of you. Bye-bye. Well, bye.